Okay, we can start. Uh, we are in uh, Lisbon in the Jardim de Estrela con, uh, with the Raquel Lines from uh, Let's Start a Fire. It is a, an agency of musical promotion. So Raquel, can you tell us um, something about the history of your uh, activity, your agency? Uh, well, I started to work in music uh, uh, right after my graduation. Um, I went to a, a small label and distributor that was Sabotage. Uh, there was only me and my boss, so it was a very small alternative indie underground completely uh, label. And um, we, I, I've, I've been there for two years more or less. And uh, in Sabotage I did everything, so I learned uh, a lot. I, I did uh, the website, I did uh, my, the relation with uh, the international labels, uh, I, I also did uh, events production, so it was uh, the best way to start in the, in the music for me because um, and it uh, had uh, all the music that I loved. So it was very indie. Mm -hmm. There was records that didn't sell much. So I, I really, really liked it. I, we worked some labels like um, Soul Jazz Records, um, Ipecac from Mike Patton, um, Constellation and Cranky from Godspeed You Black Emperor, uh, those kind of bands that I really loved. And uh, we also did a show with Godspeed You Black Emperor here in Lisbon and another in Porto. Um, so I was very at home with the music that I worked. It was a pleasure for me to work that music. And um, and then I, I decided to get out from there to maybe start uh, saying something from my own. Um, and uh, I was uh, doing a, a, a course, a, a mm -hmm. course uh, about uh, marketing and uh, music production. Mm -hmm. And uh, one Where of did you make this? Etic. Etic. It's a, a school here in Lisbon uh, for arts, more or less. Uh, and uh, one of my teachers uh, recommended me for Universal, uh, one major. And uh, they called me to replace a, a girl that was sick, and it was going to be only. Um, uh, 15 days, uh, two weeks to work, just that. And uh, that was completely out of my plans because I wanted something very small, indie, the music that I love, and then I had this invitation. And uh, as it was only two weeks, I, I said, okay. And then I, I, I thought that I would be able to know another world of music because I was coming from one of the smallest uh, distributors and labels here in Portugal and then I would go to Universal that was the opposite so I, I thought that will be good for me and it's just two weeks so I won't be uh, nervous about the music that I will promote so and I went to Universal to work only radio promotion just singles and putting the, the music uh, uh, playing on playlists and I stood there for two years so it was <laughs> so not, not, two weeks, not, not two weeks but two years <laughs> and, so it was better um, than you imagined yes uh, yes yes it was um, good to learn and uh, uh, it was very different completely different I I, I knew things that I didn't imagine that they, they existed. So marketing plans, things that was huge. I work U2, uh, so it's a huge band uh, with 
huge marketing plans that I, I was amazed with that. And um, I also decided to get out because I was starting to... Uh, I already learned what I wanted, so... And um, I was not getting uh, any uh, personal um, satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And I decided, no, I want to work the music that I love and uh, not uh, promoting bands that I don't uh, identify myself. So it wasn't good for, for me. I wasn't happy with that. And then I started to work by myself. Um, I started with um, a, a Portuguese band that are Mo Morta. Uh, and um, they were releasing an album. And I just talked with them about uh, a work that I had to do for my curso. Mm -hmm. for my, and um, I offered myself, if they needed anything from me, I was a huge fan and uh, I would be there for them. So, and they, they gave me that record to work. It was Nush, uh, Naked in English. And um, it went very well, and they enjoyed it a lot, my work, and um, I've been working with them since that record, so for some years now. And um, that was the beginning of everything. And then I started to work uh, um, the, the most of the, the bands that I work are national bands, Portuguese bands. Uh, uh, and most of them are um, uh, self-released, uh, from author-released, mm -hmm. from the bands. Yes. They, they have no uh, label or... Um, and uh, now most of the bands already know my name and it's, it's very good because I I just work with bands that I like mm -hmm. only. So uh, it's <coughs> it's a real pleasure for me to work. So I, I don't feel the music as work. It's it's just like uh, waking up and oh, I'm going to work this band and that band. And so it's very good for me. So I'm very happy with my work and I. I worked uh, a lot of bands, national bands. I worked popular art. If uh, it's uh, they started at the same time, more or less, uh, from Momorta, 25 years of career, and uh, I uh, with popular art. I I did the booking also, and it was. Uh, one of the most in, in, intensive uh, experiences that I have here. Uh, well, I, I loved the band and it was really, really good to work with them. Really good. And, um, well, I, I, and now I'm working a lot of bands. I already worked uh, Play Chavião, uh, you can win Charlie Brown, uh, Walter Benjamin, Iconoclast, uh, La Kraus, Manuel Furia. Well, I, I, I will forget a lot of names mm. because <laughs> they are so many. <laughs> because uh, I've seen that you also work with the uh, foreign artists. Also, uh, also yes. Also the names uh, that yes. uh, take me back to the past a little bit, like Lloyd Cole, which yes, was one I, of my yes. favorite. Yes, uh, I, I, I did um, uh, his uh, record promotion here uh, last year. Yeah, uh, last year. Uh, last year. There last is a new year. record uh, yes, from Lloyd yes, Cole? Uh, really? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I lost his traces uh, since so many <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, So there yeah. is a new record. Yes, oh, I yes. I have to buy it. Yes. How is it? I it's, loved him. It, I loved it, it's good. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and he came here for promotion and for mm. some shows. And well, I knew him. Uh, I was with him with uh, in the interviews, and he's 
so nice and such a gentleman so is very sweet is very very sweet and um, it was uh, like uh, a dream to work with him because I also love uh, his work and well I, when I was little I heard uh, his music a lot so it's it's very cool to work uh, and I, uh, uh, I also worked with Heinz uh, Trusen and I bought them. Mm -hmm. And that was different because they also self-released the, the record with uh, uh, the help from the fans that paid the record before they released it. So, And uh, they were, um, as they had no uh, money and uh, uh, structure, uh, label, um, they were um, looking in the different countries for uh, uh, promoters mm -hmm. uh, and um, when I knew that I mailed them immediately mm -hmm. and uh, they uh, well they chose me here in Portugal so it was another dream come true because I I love Blixa, I love Heinz so it Alta was... Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, it's... Well, and it went very, very well. They... Well, I, they sent me a poster with an autograph, so... I, I work and I... Um, vibro, vibrar, I, mm -hmm. I get <laughs> so enthusiastic with those kind of stuff, you know, yeah. so... It's like... Uh, it's not work, it's pleasure. <laughs> it's pleasure and pleasure and, and when everything goes well and you can see the result and that you can put the media to talk about uh, your records, well, I'm happy. So it's, it's great. And what about the Meredith Monk also seen that uh, yes. which is an icon of the avant-garde? Yes, yes. Uh. She came here for uh, some shows and uh, she's very delicate. So it's it's uh, and it was um, the record it was amazing. So and um, she came here for CCB it's a venue here. She had some shows, and sh um, it also <coughs> went very, very well. The media was amazed with the record, and the chance to be with her, to know her, to talk to her, um, and it did great, really, really great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and have you ever worked with it Italian bands or artists or? With the Portuguese bands going to Italy, no, uh, did you have a I don't think so. I don't know. No, no. so we didn't have no contact. No, <laughs> no, no. Maybe no you can start now. No one knows me in Italy, <laughs> and I, I didn't have no, <laughs> not any. But well, now I know you. So yeah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Yes. Maybe <laughs> who knows? some band contacts me. My band, me. for example. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but but no, because some of. Um, the international artists are f uh, they came to me uh, not directly but from uh, labels here mm -hmm. or distributors or some um, uh, events promoters that uh, pro produce the, the the shows and because I'm no one knows me so I have already worked with Patrick Watson the XX uh, and uh, well it was uh, the work came from the show promoter, so it, mm -hmm. I worked those kind of bands uh, from that uh, uh, way, mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. not uh, directly from the band because I'm so small. I, <laughs> no one knows me, so yes. just here in Portugal now I have my name that uh, I think it's already starting to be yeah. known. No. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, it's good. Yes. Yeah. And what do you think about the, the free download of music? For, for new bands, this can be an opportunity to make their name become more known or a threat because this uh, can uh, uh, make more difficult to make a track? I, or I, well, I'm a promoter, so 
I have, uh, uh, I always want to promote uh, the the most the, the the music. So, and I we live in a strange time from the downloads, and you don't uh, you you don't know yet how things will be in the future because it's not defined yet so for me i think it's a good way to promote you uh, uh, you give you your music to it, it's a way to the people to know your music and uh, sometimes if they don't have the music like this they won't know so it's it, it, it's good and it's bad because the band doesn't receive nothing uh, most of the time and, and it's their work so they should be paid for their work but um, it's not an easy decision sometimes because it's not very fair for them because records don't sell anymore so they can't um, uh, re they they almost receive nothing from the records and uh, even the shows this economic crisis it's um, affecting uh, the music and the, the power to pay cash uh, cashes mm -hmm. to, to, to the bands and it's very difficult for for a musician to work mm -hmm. only from music and to to survive from uh, so this, is, uh, this was the, 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 the next question I was oh. going to tell you about financial crisis I want to know how, how is in Portugal from the, the, the musical scene how is it affected by yes uh, 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 it's, it's very affected very, very because um, uh, the venues don't have money mm -hmm. so uh, some years ago they would pay uh, the cachet with all the expenses and now it's very very different because um, that's starting to be very rare and uh, because people is not going to the concert so and because uh, the audience uh, they, is, uh, they don't have money uh, it, sometimes it it's not uh, about the audience but they they don't have um, money to buy the show because they don't have uh, support or sponsors, so uh -huh. it's it's difficult. Because in past they had yes, there was from much uh, more support. And, uh, yes, also yes. from the state even, or, yes, or public. Even from uh, the state, uh, yes, because they are cutting everything, mm -hmm. and culture it's uh, one of uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the the areas that they are cutting. So uh, musicians feel that uh, crisis and. Uh, uh, less uh, shows and uh, and also people don't have uh, much money to go to the show. So we have to be much more selected. I want to go to five shows, but I don't have money for five. So you have to choose, and and venues can't risk so much as they used to be, uh, risk. So uh, it's it's. A difficult time here for the musicians. Yes, it's a very difficult one. And about the uh, the Lisbon scene, musical scene. Uh, what, what do you think? The, in the last year, there has been a, a, an evolution of uh, many new bands. Apart from this uh, uh, financial crisis, that is uh, yes. something yes. that is happening now. But I think in the last ten years, probably yes. there has been a kind uh, of uh, some years ago, you had good bands, but not um, many bands. That, that's how I, how I feel. I, uh, it's and, and and now we have a lot of bands coming up, and uh, there are a lot of good bands, really, really good bands. I I think the the national scene is uh, music is growing, and. Um, and uh, the quality also growing so they are very good bands we have much more bands than in the past because um, 
there was some time that um, we didn't feel uh, this growing, you know? And now you have a lot of uh, bands releasing their, um, their records by themselves and they, they risk for, for it. They believe that they can uh, do a good job and as, um, well, labels don't have much money now, so they, they are, uh, most of the time they are attached to old musicians and they stick with them and they don't risk in, a new, in new bands because they don't know how it's going to be. Uh, it's a risk that they are very <coughs> hesitated, you know, they hesitate a lot because now it's very important for them to receive something because as there is no money they can't uh, afford to release a record that doesn't sell nothing. It's, uh, it's m much more difficult now to, to the bands, much more. Um, but uh, as there are no money in the labels, the bands now, they don't take, uh, expect uh, and wait for others to, to, to release their records. So they work uh, independently and that's huge now. I, I, I feel that that's the, probably the main reason that uh, there are much more bands now and good bands with, with no fears to do their records. So, uh, much more music, much more good music now. Lisbon and not only in Lisbon, yes. yes. Uh, uh, I've I, I seen that in Lisbon there is an interesting label that um, uh, has very interesting artists, the Pataka Discos. Yes, uh, that, uh, yes, yes, Pataka <laughs> Discos. Uh, uh, from John Paulo Feliciano. Yes, uh, is investing, I, I guess, on yes. this. Yes, no. yes, yes. They have uh, Marcia, do you know Marcia? Uh, uh, I'm a huge fan of Marcia. I love the songs, the melody, the the way that she sings and and the letters, well, the lyrics, lyrics. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, she, and they also have you can find Charlie Brown that was a huge success. They went to South by Southwest. So you you organized the going. Uh, I helped the, uh, with uh, they. They had to. They had no money to go because uh, that festival doesn't pay nothing. So you have to to pay your expenses, the traveling, everything, everything, visas. It was a huge problem to get them. Huge problem. They they were think that they wouldn't come because of the visa. So. And, um, well, it's difficult for an uh, European Union citizen to get a visa oh, for... Because they had to have a work visa, working visa, mm -hmm. because they were going to play a show, some shows in ah, the... It's not, it's tourist not, visa, a, tu not, tourist. not a tourist visa, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, well, the, the visas were refused two or three times. We were very, very concerned about it. But uh, in the last days before the traveling, they did it. So it was <laughs> what uh, a huge relief, really. And uh, it was uh, funny because as they had no money, we had to think about ways to get some money to help us to go there. So uh, the band um, did a mini album online and uh, did some posters, posters, uh, signed posters, um, uh, and they did a, a show. And uh, then the fans could uh, help giving them money. Donate some. And um, uh, uh, depending on the amount of the money, they would receive uh, only the poster or 
or only just thank you, just, just that. It was one euro and you received thank you very much. So it was a poster or a poster and the record or the poster, the record and the show. So it was uh, the way to, for them to get to, to the South by Southwest Festival and they did it. So the show was a success. It was full so sold out so it was great it was an amazing feeling that uh, we had to work by ourselves uh, no help from no one no so and we did it so they were in the southwest southwest so and and that's that's one of Pataka's uh, records and bands Another one is Walter Benjamin, that's a delicious record, so, so beautiful and is an amazing uh, musician and also producer, so he's, he has been working with Pataka artists for some while and he, he has worked for a lot of uh, music yeah, musicians, so... I think Pataka is, is one of the most qualified uh, or that has more quality, quality in the records. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because all the arts are really very interesting. Yes, yeah. yes, really. Also, Julian the Card Draggers also yes. like them very much. Yes. Even if they didn't want to, <laughs> to give me an interview. But no? No? Why? I don't know. The, the, uh, the, the, don't in the first it. moment, the, the manager, uh, Georges Bizarro, uh, I think his name, uh, was enthusiastic about uh, an interview. And then we, we wrote many mails, we sent many mails, and um, they never answered. That's very strange. <laughs> so oh, I, sh I could talk to them, but maybe there's no time. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe just an email interview we can, maybe we can make. Okay. But maybe I can send you when I in the following okay, days, okay. A, yes. a, a, I like can, I, I did for no, Walter Bain. Yes, I can you, talk with them and explain uh, yeah. uh, because uh, maybe it's. They didn't. Maybe they didn't give a very important. I don't know. Or yes, maybe but they, they are so nice. So it's. <laughs> I don't strange. know. I don't, I don't know yeah, how to I'll explain this them. because the, the first answer was very quick and very no. positive, and then. No. They disappeared. Uh, okay. the, the, the manager and the band. <laughs> ne, they didn't ne, answer. Didn't, the no, never answered the, to any other okay, I'll mail. Talk with them. Don't okay, I'll talk Okay, I'll, okay, okay. I'll, I'll send you an interview. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> and um, that's another band that is very, uh, is very quality. So it's. Uh, uh, Pataka, yes. And there are some other labels from uh, here, uh, Amor Furia, from mm -hmm. Manuel Furia, uh, Flor Caveira, and uh, there are also Shift, uh, that uh, new one. You, you, you maybe should talk with them also. Uh, it's, it's interesting. And uh, which is the Chifre. Chief. I can put you in uh, contact with them if you want. Yeah. Um, um, and it, there's a lot of uh, new start startings from uh, small labels mm -hmm. here that are just starting their career. And uh, uh, these small labels, um, as they don't see this like big ones the the financial uh, the money as another how can i say it? it's not such a problem as for majors so they risk a, a lot and they bet in small bands and new ones so um, that's also another reason to things are coming to grow up here in the music yeah Okay, I think it's, uh, yeah? it's enough. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. So, <laughs> uh, I, I, I.